All right, everybody, we're here at the Goose House. What we're trying to do is get a three foot awning onto the Goose House so that uh, when it snows, there's no snow that sits right here, at, right in front of the door and gives us an issue with opening and closing the door. Uh, also, it helps keep the rain and, and slush and mud away from this area, which is our prime spot for when we're cleaning. All right, so right now we got the braces here and here, and then this one can just go all the way through. The reason why I braced this, and I'm gonna get this two by four next to it is because I really want this two by four in this location. Um, I did not want to bring it in a little bit because then that'll mess up the roof. So we got our beams on, which is nice, and then we got our top on. Uh, now we're going to put on some black uh, roofing paper on top. Uh, I don't know if we need it with the metal roof that we're going to be putting on on top of that, but uh, I've been putting it on anyways because I have an extra. We got the black tar paper on right there so now we're going to start getting the metal roof on we'll get going on that structure is basically in we got everything all the supports all we got to do now is pin these in somehow uh, we can do concrete blocks uh, but I'm gonna try and do a rebar and just pound it in and then uh, have the bottom of these legs go into the ground with the rebar all right so we just finished it up Legs are in, pounded into place with the uh, rebar, so they're all good. Uh, so hopefully with some high winds, if it catches up, it won't go up and the legs won't go in out, left, right. It feels pretty sturdy. I did two four by fours up here going across uh, so that any weight coming down this center beam uh, will get this first to the two sides and it won't sag or potentially break right here and come straight down. So hopefully that second two by four will get it structurally sound. But overall, I think it did pretty good. Uh, since I had a bunch of leftover materials, uh, all I really had to buy was the, the two by fours. Uh, and I think I used about five of them. Uh, so it worked out pretty well for what we're doing. Next step is to hope that the uh, snow and the rain stays away from this area. And also if you really wanted to, we can just put a piece of plywood up here and here on these two walls and that'll really secure this area from getting snow and rain inside of it so that'll keep this really dry but uh, we're going to see how this works first and go from there thank you bye